Glad to be back with you on Ask Chuck webcast after a two-week recess that I was able to be in Iowa and tour Iowa in 33 different counties holding uh, meetings in each county answering questions for my constituents. Had a lot of meetings in a, a few high schools, a few rotary clubs, and a massive number of just open town meetings. Uh, either case, I've been able to bring back a lot of opinions from Iowans so I can better represent them here. I thank all of you who sent in questions by email, Facebook, and uh, Twitter, and I'll go to some of those questions right now. You probably remember I take about two and answer them uh, over the, the, the camera as I'm doing now, and then uh, when we can't answer more than two, uh, we'll send you a written response. Uh, I have a Facebook question from Brian of Marion, Iowa. When are you going to audit the Fed? Well, Chuck Grassley or members of Congress aren't going to audit the Fed, and that's not the question. The question is, are we going to have the Government Accountability Office audit the Fed on a regular basis? And that is, starting this year, the answer is yes, but not as thoroughly as I would do it if my amendments were adopted because I would have the GAO uh, audit the Fed uh, in everything that they do except monetary policy. Uh, and, uh, and I think that transparency brings accountability and the Government Accountability Office uh, audit would do that. Uh, I would also suggest to you that prior to the adoption of an amendment that I got adopted two years ago on a housing bill, there had never been any Government Accountability Office audit of the, uh, uh, of the Fed or Reserve. So in a narrow part of their work dealing with housing, I was able to get such a, uh, uh, an amendment adopted. But we went a little bit further, but not a whole lot further, on the Dodd-Frank banking reform bill of last year. Uh, I think that we ought to adopt an amendment that I co-sponsored by DeMint and Sanders that would have an annual thorough audit of everything that the Fed does except uh, monetary policy. Uh, so I'm glad to uh, report to you that we're making uh, small steps in that direction and I'm ready to make one big giant leap. Uh, let's go to Rob from Des Moines. He tweets, quote, how would a co college freshman such as myself get an internship with you? Go to my, uh, uh, webca uh, my website and you'll find an application blank on my website with certain instructions about how internships work, but we would welcome your application. We have seven interns in the fall, seven interns in the spring, but because we have so many interns uh, in the summer, we have two six-week sessions of seven each. So there's uh, one opportunity out of every 28 for you to be an intern in my office anytime while you're in college, or even post-college for that matter. Uh, and so I welcome people to be interns. Uh, you have real work. You rub shoulders with everybody else on the staff. You have a chance to interact with me. I think it's a real learning experience. Uh, and I would invite you to do that and also remind you that it might end up in a job opportunity someday because about half or maybe even a little more than half of my staff presently employed were former interns. I thank you for that opportunity. Um, now I'm going, uh, now as I usually do, I end this uh, uh, program by saying to you what we do this week and we're going to continue work on the small business bill. But don't get too hung up on the small business bill, as important as that is. There's a lot of non-controversial amendments that are connected with it that are probably more important than the bill itself. And one of those would be the Coburn Amendment to do away with the ethanol tax incentive, which I think would be very detrimental to the entire energy policy of the United States that basically must be four parts. Drill here and drill now, all sorts of alternative energy, uh, conservation, and uh, uh, nuclear energy. Uh, and also uh, be, uh, during the next five weeks, uh, keep attention 
on the, the 2012 budget uh, resolution for the 2012 year and be uh, ready for about uh, negotiations that are going on on whether the debt increase ought to be allowed. Uh, those things in mind, I ask you to keep in touch with me next week uh, because we'll have three or four weeks to have webcasts, uh, so we'll do more of this. Thank you.